Greetings. Nahe Shave Winnenitz. I am Michael Runnewolf. I am Lakota and Cheyenne, and I grew up in a small rural Montana village where we had unreliable water, unreliable electricity, and why we didn't even have the telephone. So naturally, I'm a PhD student at McGill University <laughs> researching automatic speech recognition for endangered indigenous languages. I am also a former Amazon Alexa engineer and also a former uh, faculty at Northeastern University. I grew up listening to my mother and my grandmother speak their native tongue, Cheyenne. Unfortunately, this is rare for the Cheyenne. There are only about 500 speakers today, and most of them are elderly. My tribe is not alone. About 92% of all languages in the United States of America are endangered, including Cheyenne. We are not trying to preserve our languages as an anthropologist would. We are working to make reinvigorate new life into our languages and make them vibrant again. Our languages define our heritage and our relationship to our land and our relationship to our people as a community. It was in my mother's tongue that I would be rocked to sleep so that I would dream of wuku, rabbit. I believe the future is engaging language technology that recreates communities of cultural practice and works holistically with indigenous ways of knowing. Most importantly, I believe we need conversational AI technology that will ease a language learner into educating themselves about a language they are ashamed and embarrassed to not know. Learning these languages is hard for English speakers. It makes even me shy. Working with the Macaw Nation, I am self-conscious because I cannot say kwekwidichuk, the word for their own language. I am utterly failing to say the uvula kwa sound instead of the more familiar English ka sound. This lack of confidence is crippling. We need a strategy that gently allows a speaker to gain agency over their language journey. I envision creating a small form factor, cedar enclosed, edge, offline edge AI that contains the inner workings of a minimal voice-based language curricula, in other words, a language in a box. With this, even the shyest person can learn their language, practice complex phonetics and morphology of their language so that they can confidently converse with their grandparents. Additionally, these chat boxes would be a gift to future generations. This vision is possible. Cedar is cheap. Raspberry Pis are plentiful. And AI, like Alexa and Siri, are mundane miracles. So why don't we have it yet? Unfortunately, there are non-trivial technical barriers to enabling natural language processing for indigenous languages in North America. One reason is fundamental. NLP for North American languages is underfunded and under-researched by the machine learning field. North American languages are fundamentally different than European languages. They are polysynthetic, which means entire phrases are embedded into singular words and they are constructed on the fly as you speak. Another is data. We simply don't have enough. To enable Siri and Google Assistant, they have hundreds of hours of transcribed audio. For us indigenous, we may only have a handful of speakers and no resources. Another problem is exploitation. Decades of dedicated research in linguistics, education, and technology has not forestalled the loss of our languages. Often, this research has actually accelerated the loss of our languages. Well-intended efforts have resulted in predatory behavior. Language is sacred. My raw data contains the stories, 
of indigenous elders who have long passed on, and those stories contain sacred knowledge that the community partners that I work with do not want to share. Large audio data sets that contain indigenous language data do not respect the sanctity and sovereignty of the indigenous peoples. They're stealing our breaths, basically. We can't allow our languages to be preserved in the Smithsonian, like Sitting Bull's Winter Count. Since 2020, my friends and I, including MIT Solve and the Patrick J. McGovern Foundation, have been working to build AI for indigenous language reclamation. We have a technical approach that honors and respects the data sovereignty of our community partners, and we are maximizing our limited audio data by focusing upon critical phonetics, critical morphology, and everyday language essentials. This is identified by our community partners and by expert linguists. Most importantly, our strategy is intertribal. Our objective, and this is key, is to create speakers, not technology. This initiative is called FLARE, First Languages, AI Reality, and resides at Mila in Montreal. This isn't science for science's sake. I'm an enterprise engineer, and I want technology that's practical, affordable, and scales to many different languages. We need to change the narrative for endangered languages. Globally, we lose a language every 14 days. This means that every two weeks, an entire society loses their voice. And these aren't just statistics. So as a final message to you, my audience here in the now, and for you in the future, I want to tell you one thing. In 2013, I gave a presentation about a simple Cheyenne language app, and I met a young woman. This young woman introduced me to her mother and her grandmother. After I had given my presentation about the application I had built, she excitedly ran up to me and said, God sent you to me. My grandmother is the last speaker of our language. How can we use your app? And I tried to explain to her that it was custom built for the Cheyenne language, and it would be very difficult to modify it if you were not a software programmer. I gave her as much support as I could, but I still think about her and her family. And she has inspired me that this technology needs to be built for as many languages as we can. We can't focus on just one language. It's important that I share my gifts. And so I have a message for all of you working to revitalize your language. You're not alone. Join me. Together, we can build and rebuild the ecology of indigenous thought together with AI. Thank you for this honor.